Hi friends! Hi! So, welcome to another edition of our vlog. And this one is going to be kind of special, because we're in Jasper, Alberta. We came here to do backcountry camping for three days. And the reason why that's special is because we have never done backcountry camping in our lives. It's gonna be interesting. It will be a first experience for us. We spent the last two months uh, doing lots of YouTube research, building out the gear list, setting the budget aside for making sure that our backcountry camping trip is gonna be comfortable and exciting. We're looking forward to showing our journey to you guys, so you'll see how well prepared we actually are. And right now it's 6.30 p.m. We're in a small town called Hinton and tomorrow early in the morning we're heading to Jasper and then we're heading to Tonkin Valley where we will spend three days backcountry camping away from civilization. We'd love to take you guys for the journey along with us so sit comfortably, grab a cup of tea or coffee or something a little bit stronger than that and enjoy our vlog. Let's go! Good morning guys, we're ready to go, yes. all packed. Anastasia, show off your backpack. It's huge, it's bigger than you. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> That's a it's lot. Heavy too. And here's mine. And this is all the stuff that we're not taking with us, obviously. Excited? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna drive to Jasper. Uh, we have about 40 minutes to drive. We'll pass by Jasper to pick up a bear spray yep. and a fuel canister so we can make some food. Excited, great mood. Perfect weather. For now. It's, it's very hot. Uh, it's going to rain in the in the evening, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, there is nothing in the middle, so it's yeah. either too hot or raining. See you in Jasper. All right. So we just passed by a store. We rented a Paris break. And we got taught how to use it. And a fuel canister. Now we're all set. And we're gonna go grab a coffee and we're gonna head out to our trail start. So Anastasia was very hot and we have a bunch of clear creeks like this along the way and I decided to make life easier for her and she took cold shower. <laughs> this cold shower. It's incredible how hot it is outside and how cold this water is. Yeah, it's half past five but still it's very hot. How are you feeling? Feeling better. Better. You want to dive into it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, took a break, refreshed our water supply. Now we are going to switch back and we are getting ready for 400 meters of elevation gain. It's getting darker, uh, which is good and bad. It's good because it's not so hot. It's bad because once it's dark, it'll be like pitch black dark. It's half past eight. We're hoping to make it to the camp before 11 p.m. Good thing is that the sun sets later and it gets dark later in the mountains because 
we're fairly up north. Yep. So that wins us a couple of more hours of sunlight and daylight before we reach our camp. Yeah, but I did put on my glasses just to see better. <laughs> It's tough, you know, when they say don't stop for 300 meters, they don't tell you that you're actually going up the hill, so it's hard not to stop and it's quite steep. Hey Anastasia, how are you feeling? Exhausted. <laughs> Good exhausted or bad exhausted? Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I felt like I've given birth to 10 children. <laughs> yeah, and each was like a grown up teenager already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is our creep for the night. Yeah, today was a rough day. We had uh, almost 10 hours of hiking. Mm -hmm. um, but we managed to stick to our schedule and we reached switchback at 10.30 p.m. It started raining, it's still raining a little bit and we can hear a thunderstorm somewhere around us. It was scary because sometimes we could see the lightning flashing right in front of us. Yeah. And yeah. the uh, thunder getting louder and louder. Yeah, and the last part to get to this campsite is like a small valley and you're not supposed to be in the mountains when there are lightnings around. It's 11 p.m. We'll probably just go pack all our food, all smelly stuff, go drop it in one of the, what do you call them? Like a locker for food so that bears don't get to it. Yeah, then we'll sleep. just sleep and rest. My muscles are so sore. My head is empty. Well, I'm blonde, so it's always empty anyway. All right, see you in the morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So this was our first night ever of backcountry camping. In the mountains. Yeah. It rained a couple of times during the night. Um, I didn't hear any wildlife because obviously everybody was hiding from the rain. I slept fine and if you're curious we will leave the list to our gear in the description box below. Now yeah. we are getting ready to have our breakfast. We are filtering yeah. water. Um, Everything's dirty because of the rain, but we're gonna have to wash it. And I'm starving. The temperature dropped to about plus 13 uh, yeah. during the night. I didn't sleep very well. I don't know why. I, I woke up at 7 a.m. in the morning, hung out for 30 minutes and then slept for another hour. Yeah. Feeling good. Um, feeling a little bit sore. The shoulders are sore. Oh yeah, I'm so sore. Of the, uh, because of the backpack that we had to carry. Our backpack is heavy. I'm not sure if our backpacks aren't good or maybe we just brought way too much stuff with us. It's, I guess it's too much stuff and it's a lot of going up and down yeah. the hill. And uh, we ended up hiking for like, what, 10 hours yesterday. So it's it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Without, without physical preparation, it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so I guess uh, we'll have breakfast and then we will do some stretching, check out the map and go explore because there are beautiful lakes nearby and hopefully we will get to them. Yeah, I'm Excited. optimistic as well. Feels nice, it's so beautiful here. Forest, Ugh, and the smoke from the anti-mosquito thing. Embrace the smoke, yeah. it protects you from mosquitoes. Yeah.
first time I see snow when it's plus 24 degrees outside. What's our altitude? 2000 or so? 2000. We're heading back to our campsite from our light day hike. Can you see this majestic mountain? Well, our campsite is some, somewhere in front of it. That's where we are heading. Bon appétit. What was your favorite part of today? I think this morning because we didn't have proper dinner yesterday so this morning it was so nice to have a proper meal and drink some coffee with the view of the mountains oh my it was one of the most delicious feasts i ever had coffee does feel extra amazing when you're camping or in the mountains yeah, yeah. i've heard that from many people and definitely amethyst lakes yeah it was awesome. Magnificent was place. Huge valley, swamps, lots of greenery, and just like almost 360 views of the mountains. It was amazing. So how was, um, how was your mountain camping experience so far, Anna? What has been the worst for you so far? The worst is mosquitoes. I think one of the great decisions that we made is that we brought lots of bug spray and mosquito coils. It saves us, really. Especially like right now, there are mosquitoes, but it's bearable. It's the mosquitoes are just attacking you. Like while you're walking, it's fine. Walking is totally fine. But the moment you stop, two seconds later. Yeah, and, and you stop to take a break. So you, you just want to chill, calm down, take a breath, you know, drink some water. And you're not able to do that because mosquitoes are like, oh, you <laughs> stopped. Oh, let me investigate. <laughs> yeah. Why did God create mosquitoes? <laughs> so last night the weather dropped quite a bit and we froze a little in our tent. Before I am I will have feeling pretty cold and I put on my jacket it became better but still not as good as the previous night <laughs> it was a lot warmer so this morning we woke up uh, got dressed slowly started packing and um, now we're having breakfast before we head back out to the uh, trailhead we have 13 almost 13 kilometers to hike I hope we can make it we have a massage scheduled for 3 30 so I really hope we can make it before then Luckily, the weather is not hot today. It's dropped to 10 degrees tonight, and the high today is gonna be around 16 degrees. So it's gonna be pretty comfortable for the hike. Okay, so we're gonna finish up our breakfast. We are actually running about an hour behind. I don't even know how that happened. All right, see you at the trailhead. In between, anywhere in between.
we reached this dangerous point again where you're not allowed to stop because there might be rocks falling and suddenly all the mosquitoes are gone can you imagine horses walking here this one got scared for sure <laughs> So that's it, we're almost there, half a kilometer and hopefully we'll make it to our hotel before our massage therapy, <laughs> which will be a very nice finish of the day. last 20 meters and we made it it's so unusual to see hot cars and hear cars after three days away from civilization it's tough but the weather is perfect and we made it all the way back to the trailhead from Switchback in four and a half hours. Awesome.